Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Bob Barber here, End Time Dream and Vision, the channel that's dedicated to the watch of dreams and visions and how they point to the return of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Welcome back everybody to End Time Dream and Vision. By the way, before we get started, if you need a Bible, don't have access to one, can't afford one, we can help, email us and say, I need a Bible to support at feedmysheeptoday.org. We'll send you our free Bible for shipping anywhere on earth just for you. And folks, if you love watching videos dealing with the rapture resurrection event, end time Bible prophecy and much more, folks, you need to hit that subscribe button right now. So that way you don't miss any new content that we have coming out. Today, everybody, we're going to be covering dreams that deal with the pre-tribulation time frame, which is a time frame that we are in right now. Okay. And this first one here I like to cover is from Lauren. Lauren goes on to say here, in my dream, I was in a wedding dress getting ready for a wedding. I was in a hair salon that seemed to be inside an airport. I believe that is when I realized I was getting ready for a wedding, that some unknown threatening force came through the doors. I don't remember actually seeing anybody, but I do remember that all of us in the salon were suddenly screaming. It was clear that an enemy wanted to stop the procedures, and they were going to great lengths to disrupt the process of the wedding, specifically terrorizing the bride. Yeah, basically that is exactly what's happening. You know, the devil, he knows, okay, if once you're sealed with the Holy Spirit, there's nothing he can do about that. You're going in the rapture no matter what. Even if you've been misbehaving, you know, you're a disobedient child, but let alone you're still a child of God. And being a child of God, the Holy Spirit within you, sealed to the day of redemption, Ephesians 4.30, he must honor the completion of that gift of salvation by changing your body from mortal to immortality and giving you eternal life, body, soul, and spirit. Okay, that's salvation. It's a process that deals first with the regeneration of your spirit and then the regeneration of your body. And since the age of grace has been almost 2,000 years and people only live to be around 70, 80, 90 years old, give or take, God knew, well, your body will die, but at the end, it'll be resurrected. So God knew that people were going to die over the next 2,000 years. We don't live for 2,000 years. We live like 70 to 80, like the Bible says. So he knew that people were going to die over the next 2,000 years being saved by this gospel, but their spirit would ascend to heaven and be in a waiting area until the end of the age of grace comes. And then once the end of the age of grace comes, Everybody that's saved during this time frame is given a new immortal body at that point. Everybody. And what about those who are left on the earth that are, that are saved by the gospel of grace but haven't died yet? The rapture resurrection. That's why our apostle Paul says in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 and 17, that the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we who are alive and remain shall be called up to meet them in the air. Okay? Two supernatural processes. So for the last 2,000 years, the enemy has been trying to disrupt the process. The enemy knows, hey, you're sealed to the day of redemption. I cannot undo that, okay? But I could certainly disrupt how you can share that concept with other people where more people can get saved, okay? And since you're here saved on the earth, I don't like you, so I'm gonna treat you like crap anyways. But once again, the devil knows you're sealed. There's nothing he can do to undo your salvation, all right? But he can't make it difficult for you here in your life right now because he just doesn't like you. And if he does that, it also makes it difficult for you to share the gospel. And basically, that's what she sees here in a dream. The bride is getting ready to leave. The body of Christ is getting ready to leave. But he's going to do everything he can to disrupt that process to prevent any more people from getting saved. He's gonna to try to keep the word from going out, okay? The devil knows eventually there's a cutoff point. 
and he wants to make sure that the least amount of people can be saved by the gospel of grace before we are called up out of here. That's why he disrupts the work that we do right now. And that's why she's singing here in a dream. So now, Lauren also goes on to mention here that they were in airport hair salon. And what happens in an airport? That is the final destination you go to before you ascend into the sky in an airliner. Before you leave one destination and go to a different destination really far away. And this is a representation of all of us gathering right now here at the end of the Age of Grace, right before the Rapture Resurrection, where we are all taken up into the sky and delivered into the third heavens before the tribulation begins. And it's a hair salon, and what do brides and bridesmaids do when they go to a wedding? Obviously, they go to a hair salon first to get their hair done, to get prepared. So the bride of Christ is being prepared right now to leave the earth. And according to what I've seen in dreams and visions, when God closes out the age of grace with the rapture resurrection event, we will all be translated and gathered up into groups all around the earth, just like Philip was translated in the book of Acts. So we too may be translated to these different areas to watch the resurrection take place, and then afterwards we are raptured. I see it happen all the time in dreams and visions. Believers are gathered together in different places like fields, mountaintops, valleys, lakes, somebody's house that you don't know, or a parent's home or your family gathers all the time, something like that, all kinds of different places. So we are translated to these locations and we are gathered together in groups all around the world. We see a picture of this when Jesus feeds the multitude. What does he do? He directed all the people to split up into groups. And then he delivered the miracle unto them. Something to think about. Please comment. What locations have you seen in your dreams and visions where you and many other believers are gathered to watch the resurrection and then be raptured? Please comment. So great dream here, Lauren. Thank you for sharing. Let's check out the next one. Now this next one is from Terry. Terry goes on to say here, I was at a house with other people, but didn't know who they were. I was near a sliding door that went outside. I heard a shofar blowing. I looked up the sound on my computer later, and it was the exact same sound. It's called the call of God. When I heard this, I went outside and looked up in the sky. It was evening time and seeing the biggest, most purest white light I've ever seen before. It looked like sparkles all around it too. I fell to my knees and raised up my hands. Out of that light, I heard a deep voice say to me, I am coming soon. And then I woke up. This was in July, 2020. So here in this dream, Terry hears a trumpet call, goes outside and looks and sees a big, bright, white light in the sky, which represents Jesus Christ, and it says, I am coming soon. And when Terry went and looked up on the computer, the same sound he heard in his dream, he heard it on the sound file here, and the sound file was called the call of God. Now, who is God? Jesus Christ. And what does the Bible say in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, 17? He descends from heaven, with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and the trumpet of God. So Jesus comes down with a shouting sound and a trumpet blowing, okay? And here Terry is in his dream, seeing that light, a picture of the rapture, resurrection event, and I believe it'll look something like that, bright light in the sky. But the rapture didn't take place here, but Terry saw this light in the sky regardless, and the voice said, I am coming soon which Jesus also said in the Bible that he's coming very soon, the book of Revelation. So this is a perfect warning of the rapture resurrection event. Like I said, we are in the pre-tribulation time frame right now. The pre-tribulation time frame sucks. It absolutely sucks. Okay, nobody's ever seen the pre-tribulation time frame. Nobody on earth has ever lived through the pre-tribulation time frame. Okay, because the tribulation time frame is a once 
in history time frame according to Jesus Christ. A time like never before, never again. So if we're in the pre-tribulation time frame, doesn't it make sense why we are living in clown world right now? Where good is evil and evil is good. Everything's flip-flopped. Why our government takes care of all the villains and make sure they don't serve any time now and they get out right away but if you try to do anything good for other people if you're a pastor of a church they want to throw you in prison for the next hundred years and just throw away the keys that's where we're at right now okay complete unrighteousness complete lawlessness complete ungodliness like you wouldn't believe does that describe what we are in right now Yes, we had never seen it this bad, but why is it like this? Because it's the pre-tribulation time frame. And basically we're looking at a time window from 2020 up until the fall of this year, 2022. And that's what I like to designate as a pre-tribulation time frame. Since the launch of COVID, which has ushered in global tyranny, a global control training system for all the people on the earth and power given to all the wrong people okay you guys know what i'm saying all that began to happen at the beginning of 2020 when covid was released all right and look where we are at now surprise 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 okay it makes absolute perfect sense that is why the time frame that we are in right now I know it ticks you off. It ticks me off. I hate seeing all this unrighteousness. I hate seeing all the evil, wicked people getting away with everything that they're getting away with. They're all walking around with these smug look on their faces right now, like they're untouchable. And you want the wrath of God to come. You want the wrath of God to fall on them. You want to see that judgment come, and it's going to come. Okay, it will come. Be patient. God said that vengeance is mine, He's going to take care of them. But unfortunately, during this time, we have to live through this. So, yes, the body of Christ gets to go through the pre-tribulation time frame, but we don't go through the actual semi-tribulation time frame. So here in this dream, though, Terry sees a warning from Jesus Christ that I am coming soon. Terry is a part of the body of Christ. He's saved. He's not a Jew where he gets saved in the everlasting gospel. He's not a Gentile who is a proselyte Jew who gets saved under the Jews, under the everlasting gospel. No, he is a Gentile that's saved during the age of grace, okay? Where you have neither Jew nor Gentile, okay? It's a completely new creature, all right? So that's the time that we are in right now. And this is a warning from Jesus Christ that he is coming to catch up the body of Christ at the rapture resurrection event. So great dream here, Terry. Now folks, before we go any further, I would like to share with you what we are doing to expand the body of Christ here during the age of grace before it ends through the works of Feed My Sheep today. And I'll be right back after this quick break. Friends, if you haven't noticed, the world is going to hell in a handbasket. The seven year tribulation, Daniel's 70th week is at our doorstep, which means time is running out to get out there and do the work of our Heavenly Father. Share the love and hope of Jesus Christ, not just here in America, but all around the world. Before that faithful day when we are all caught up out of here and our work here is done. And if you've been feeling that call to get out there to make a difference in God's kingdom, but you don't know where to start, Feed My Sheep Today is a great place to start. Because unlike other places, here you can make a direct impact for God's kingdom in growing the body of Christ immediately while everybody else is investing money into big beautiful temple like buildings with huge parking lots with big light shows and sound systems to preach a bloodless gospel what we're doing here at feed my sheep today is simply taking all the funds coming in and investing it straight into the ministry is going directly into the missionaries hands within two to three days from the time that you give and they are buying Bibles in their own native languages and especially King James Bibles for the English readers and also everything involved with humanitarian relief aid that will be needed for that area. We just don't show up and start preaching to a bunch of starving, dying, unclothed people that are freezing to death. No, we do humanitarian relief aid first. 
we get everybody up to speed and then after showing them the love of Jesus Christ in this manner what we continue to see is people are really open to what we have to say after providing them this aid and at this point they are very open and welcoming to a faith based message the hope and love of Jesus Christ the gift of grace that is available to them now because of the finished works of Jesus Christ at the cross 1 Corinthians 15 1-4 after sharing the gospel of grace with them they showed great faith in that message that we brought forth to them and they were saved for the first time in their lives by grace through faith and we give them each their own Bible and from that point forward we will continue to teach them, lead them, and guide them, and grow them as new members of the body of Christ. And this all happened because of your financial support. And you will see all the rewards from this at the Bema Seat Judgment because God knows this would never have happened unless it wasn't for your faithful giving. Trust me, he's keeping track of everything here. So right now, if you're feeling that slight pull, Please, don't ignore it. Just listen to what the Holy Spirit is instructing you to do. God wants to reward you greatly in this life for being a faithful supporter for his kingdom. And he's going to greatly reward you at the beam of seat judgment in our next life to come. Through all the gold, silver, and precious stones you've been sending up and compiling in heaven through all of your works while you were here on the earth. And if you haven't done much in your life, this is a great opportunity for you to finish strong before we go home. Make up for lost time. And you can definitely achieve that through Feed My Sheep today. All you need to do is go to our official website. It's www.feedmysheeptoday.org. There you can give by credit card, PayPal, bank draft, or just simply send your gift in the mail. Super easy website to use. Big buttons only take you about a minute and you are done and please consider becoming a monthly sustainer this is great for those who can't afford to make a big impact right now instead you could do it over a long period of time this will help us out greatly because if we know how much money is coming in next month this helps us to coordinate and plan and set up these locations that we will be visiting the next month knowing that we will have enough funds to purchase enough Bibles and humanitarian relief aid that will be sufficient for these areas that we are planning on going into please just ten dollars a month that can make a huge difference and don't forget to follow us on our YouTube channel feed my sheep today where you can see everything that we are spending the money on and all the new believers in Christ that came forth because of your financial support. Great in heaven will your rewards be. Thank you all so much for your support. May God bless you all. Thank you all so, so much for your much needed ongoing support for Feed My Sheep Today, supporting Christian missions all around the world. We all just want to finish strong for the Lord before we go home, right? We're trying to build the body of Christ as much as we can before that final trumpet call. And if that's something that you want to do, you haven't done a whole lot for the Lord during your lifetime. And if you're saying to yourself, you know, when I reach the judgment seat of Christ, I'm not going to have a whole lot of rewards to be rewarded with. You know, maybe I should do something. Feed My Sheep Today is for you because we can get a lot done in a short period of time through your financial support and all that work will be accredited to you at the BMC Judgment because you made it happen through your support. So if our Heavenly Father is tugging at your heart in any way, shape, or form, maybe that's Him telling you, hey, we can make some things happen so that way you can have an incredible retirement in heaven compared to what you can have here on the earth. You know, a lot of people invest and put their money towards things to create a good retirement for them here on the earth. Then if that's the case, why don't they do that towards heavenly things? And even Jesus told us to focus on heavenly rewards. A lot can still be accomplished and you will see the gold, silver, and precious stones rewards from this work at the judgment seat of Christ. So thank you all so, so much for your much needed ongoing support and may God bless you all.
Now this next dream I have to share with you guys is from Rose. Rose goes on to say her, hey Bob, I had a dream. I was in the hospital with my coworker and she was about to have a baby and I was helping her through it and then the baby was born. Yeshua said, the birth pains are almost over and it's time for my bride to come home. Love, Rose. So great dream here, Rose. So first of all, in this dream, her coworkers having a baby, going through the birth pains, and then the baby was born. And then Yeshua said to her in a spirit that the birth pains are almost over and it's time for my bride to go home. All right, it's time for the body of Christ, the bride of Christ to go home. How incredible is that? Pretty simple, not much of an interpretation here, but awesome dream. You know, the birth pains that we're going through right now, the pre-tribulation time frame, over the last two years, has it been harder than it's been over the last seven years? Of course, we're having lockdowns now. Absolutely nobody cares about anybody's rights anywhere anymore. We're having World War III breaking out. We're having shortages, we're having famines, we're having death, sickness, we're having it all now. Why? Because the birth pains are the hardest now and they are short. The, the pains are very short in between now. What does this mean? It's almost over. We're about to go home. Tribulation is about to begin. Okay. Please comment about these dreams. Let me know what you guys think about them and don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out so you don't miss any new content that we have coming out. May God bless you all and hang in there, for we are almost finished. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, censorship is ramping up. If for any reason we lose this channel here, you need to know where to find us. It's on our website, edvforme.org. This is a completely free site. Here you can watch all of our videos that we put on YouTube. Are you looking for dreams and visions about the rapture and other end time events? Do you have dreams and visions that you need interpretations to? Or do you just want the whole world to be informed about what you saw? Here you will find the only worldwide message form on the internet dedicated to dreams and visions of the end times. Here you can post unlimited dreams and visions, have access to thousands of dreams and visions from believers all over the world, including everything from our database that we have not posted on YouTube or our website yet. Read them before we even talk about them. Get a heads up. Check this out. Are you looking for one certain type of dream? All the dreams and visions here will be separated into categories for easy access. And yes, we are always adding more categories. If you can't find yours, let us know and we'll put it in. Click on the link below now. Go to the website and enter in your email at the bottom of the site to receive updates and notifications. It's a very user-friendly site to use, so don't waste any time. Get over there, get registered. That way, we can stay connected to you and also save it in your favorites or whatever on your device. And friends, don't forget to request your free After the Rapture Survival Info Flash Drive today. Free flash drive, free shipping, our gift to you. On this flash drive, there are 7 gigabytes of information that will be very helpful to all your friends and family who will be left behind, starting with the King James Bible, Children's Bible, plus 80 Bibles in other languages that are the most common after English. On this flash drive are also ebooks, letters, sermons, videos, news articles, articles written by believers explaining why mass amounts of people have disappeared and what's next and much much more there's even a section called abc salvation which is a quick introduction that people can read where they can quickly learn about who jesus christ really is and a condensed version of the good news of the gospel that was achieved by his finished works at the cross and how they can be saved through him and him alone these letters are also provided in 80 different languages, most popular after English. All this and much more is available on this flash drive that we could send to you for free. 
just email us your request and that information is in the description box below or just go to our website edvforme.org and download the entire thing for free. They are separated into four easy downloadable folders you can download and save to any device. Copy and paste this information to your friends and family's computers and devices. Put them on other flash drives and hand them out. This is an excellent way to get the information out to everybody we know so that way they are prepared if they are left behind. Information about this is all in the description box below.